These documents came out four months ago. Following the accident in Indonesia, both Boeing and the FAA issued bulletins advising pilots of the steps to take if MCAS began forcing the nose down. The documents advise pilots to follow the existing procedure for a malfunctioning trim system and disengage the autopilot, set the stabilizer trim switches to cut out, and to use their manual trim wheel to counteract the automatic downward stabilizer movement. Boeing and the FAA felt that the airworthiness directive was all pilots needed to be able to recover from what they thought would be an extremely rare event. Did the pilots know about this procedure? You'd hope so. The airline has an obligation to train the pilots to ensure that there is a sufficient understanding of what the information is trying to tell them so that they act appropriately. We incorporated the Boeing Bulletin into our flight manual. Were your pilots advised of the revision? All our pilots were fully briefed, of course. The pilots of Flight 302 knew the procedure for disabling MCAS. The question is, did they follow it? <laughs> 